Correct, Judge. All right, Mr. Cox. And everyone can remain seated if you would like, since we do have uh, some folks on Zoom. I think you have to be in front of the microphone for uh, Zoom to be able to hear. So whether you stay seated or uh, or stand doesn't matter to the court, but it's, I think it's easier if you're seated. Mr. Cox. Thank you, Your Honor. May it please the court. Yes, sir. Uh, I have reviewed, Mr. Smith has reviewed one count of information in response today. We don't have a copy of it. We have record. So, with that in mind, we understood what was going to say. So, with that in mind, Mr. Smith has authorized me to enter a quick fellow contender pursuant to Rule 3.172, parentheses, new parentheses 2, where he determines to be in his best interest while maintaining his innocence. It is the exhibit identified as exhibit A that is attached to the written plea form to provide the original to the court. And I can recite those terms if you wish. If, if you would. Yes. Uh, as I mentioned, it's pursuant to rule, rule 3.172, parentheses 2, parentheses 2, to the child abuse information. The agreement is in support of the withhold of the patient in the district that will be placed on a period of probation for three years. The agreements include that there is no limitation in probation with respect to Mr. Smith having contact with any person, adult or child, who is a member of his family. Secondly, there is no restriction of any kind um, as part of the probation that Mr. Smith had contact with a male of any age. Third, because the state has alleged previously a relationship between Mr. Smith and a female between the ages of 17 and 18, Mr. Smith will undergo an evaluation by Dr. George Fashion. That evaluation has already been completed and provided to us. The probation would include psychosexual counseling, and Mr. Smith will follow any recommendations of treating practitioners, and he shall have no contact with end up and uh, the person referred to earlier that pattern happens between the ages of 17 and 18. Next, it would be that other than females who are members of this family, we would have no contact with any females under the age of 18 until such time as evaluated to counsel for cruise. Additionally, as part of this probation, the state does not oppose and would request to allow Mr. Smith to travel freely, freely without the necessity of seeking permission between Jacksonville, Florida, and Boston, Georgia where many of his family members and extended family members reside and for the court's benefit. Since the last several years, he's been traveling regularly to South Austin, Georgia, for several days. But the probation wouldn't be transferred, it would stay no, here. No, no, there is a provision, I'll come to that in a minute. Uh, the next provision is the state would not object to the soft transfer of probation from Florida to Georgia. But that is not in the court's now. That has not been requested. And finally, there would be a court cost of $560. Okay. And this is on the third degree felony of child abuse? Yes. Madam Clerk, are there any other costs or surcharges with that charge? No. Uh, is this the state's recommendation in this case? This is the state's recommendation, Your Honor. Uh, we've reached this agreement in part because Mr. Smith does not have any prior convictions. I've discussed the terms of this with uh, both NW and her mother. NW is present via Zoom today. Um, we discussed all of these terms again earlier today. She is in agreement with them, Your Honor. Um, she did not want to have to undergo the publicity associated with the trial. It was also important that Mr. Smith not become a convicted felon. Um, Miss uh, or NW's mother was in agreement with these these terms up until um, NW turned 18 at which point we have communicated directly with her. And again, she is present via Zoom. She does not wish to make any statement today. Okay, and this is within the guidelines? Yes, Your Honor, as charged, Mr. Smith scores 22 points. What if any prior record does the defendant have? None, Your Honor, he has no prior criminal convictions. Okay, anything else from the state at this no, time? Honor. Mr. Smith, raise your right hand. You solemnly swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you, God. Yeah. You can put your hand down. Your name is Telvin Smith. Yeah. You've, you've heard what your attorney has said, that you wish to plead no contest to the third degree felony of child abuse. You could have received up to five years in prison on that charge. Is that what you wish to do, is plead guilty to that charge? I'm sorry, plead no contest to that charge. Sorry, force of habit. Uh, is that what you wish to do, is plead no contest to that charge? Have you had enough time to speak to your attorney about what you're doing today? Yes, 
Are you satisfied with his advice and representation? Are you under the influence of any alcohol or drugs or suffering from any substance or condition this afternoon that would affect your ability to uh, think clearly? Has anybody threatened you or promised you anything other than the plea agreement between you, your attorney, and the state attorney's office to get you to enter this plea? You're pleading no contest because you believe it's in your best interest to do that. You understand you can plead not guilty and have a jury trial. You can bring in witnesses on your behalf, cross-examine the state's witnesses, have your attorneys represent you, and you're giving up that right. State, give us a factual basis, please. No, we agree. Stipulate. stipulate. All right. State parties stipulate to a factual basis. Yes, Your Honor. All right. The court finds a factual basis exists for the entry of the plea. Is there any DNA evidence known to exist that would exonerate the defendant? No, Your Honor. Mr. Cox. No, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Smith, you understand if you were not a citizen of the United States, the entry of the plea could subject you to deportation. Yes. And you understand if this were a sexually motivated offense, or if you've been convicted of one before, and either one of those both may apply or neither may apply, uh, but you understand that uh, the entry of your plea could subject you to a civil commitment at the conclusion of your sentence. Sure. Mr. Smith, Mr. Cox would have gone over with you a copy of this form I'm holding up called plea of no contest and negotiated sentence. Did he go over a copy of that form with you? Yes, sir. Did you understand everything on the form as he explained it to you? Yes, sir. Any questions about anything that's on the form yes, or any questions about anything that's happening here today? Yes, sir. Court finds that Mr. Smith's plea is freely, knowingly, and voluntarily entered with a full understanding of the nature and consequences of the plea. Therefore, the court accepts your plea of no contest to the third degree felony of child abuse. The court will withhold adjudication of guilt, place you on three years of probation with the following special conditions. How much credit time, Madam Clerk? You'll we'll serve one day in the Duval County Jail with credit for one day time served. You will pay $516 in court costs. You will undergo psychosexual counseling. Is that going to be with Dr. Deitchman or? Am I, am I not limiting it? All right. All right, you'll undergo psychosexual counseling as approved. Your uh, travel will not be restricted between Jacksonville, Florida and Valdosta, Georgia. You will allow, you will be allowed to have contact with females uh, in your family under the age of 18. You will not be allowed to have contact with females outside of your family under the age of 18 unless or until approved by the probation office. Is that the understanding of the parties? That is correct, Judge. Right. Okay, very good. Uh, by, the, by the evaluator, the psychosexual evaluator. Uh, your probation is will be supervised by Florida for the time being. However, the um, prosecution agrees that it will not object to the defendant's probation being transferred at the appropriate time to the state of Florida if, um, if approved by the department and the, um, as well as the department of the state of Georgia. Is that it? Your Honor, I just want to make sure that the court who put on the record that he's had no contact with the victim NW. Oh, I left that out. So thank you for reminding me that he will have no contact with the listed victim in this case, whose initials are NW. Anything else from the state? No, Your Honor. Defense? Just, Your Honor, just to be clear, the restriction on contact, the court described, there was no restriction on contact with any other person. Right. Is that Mr. Weaver? That's the state attorney's office intent. And, uh, could you restate that, Mr. Cox? Other than what the court announced, described as restriction on contact, if it could only change the recommendation value, there's no restriction on contact. With anyone. Correct. It would be non-familial women under the age of 18. That that's to whom the restriction applies. Okay. Anything else from the defense? Okay, Mr. Smith, you have 30 days to appeal this sentence if you believe it to be unlawful. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. 
Mr. Smith, Mr. Chapman with the probation department, the Department of Corrections is on the Zoom call and he needs to speak to you now for just a moment. Mr. Chapman, you may need to get the uh, personal information from, uh, from Mr. Cox rather than putting that on the record at this time. But other than that, you can have the uh, normal dialogue that you'll have. Thank you, Judge. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Smith, can you hear me? All right, uh, Mr. Smith, what is your date of birth? I'm sorry, Judge, I can't hear him. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir, I can hear you now. And what address are you currently living at, sir? 782. Hold on, hold on one second. That's what I was asking. That's what I was telling you, Mr. Chapman. Why don't you get that the the address and phone number you can get from uh, defendant's counsel? Okay. And his name is, sir, Mr. Cox. Hank Cox. It's three five three zero two one one. Or cell phone is six one two zero three five seven. Six one two zero three five seven. The nine zero four area code, sir. Yes, sir. All right, I will be calling you uh, immediately after this hearing so I can get the information I need. All right, uh, Mr. Smith, what's gonna happen is the bailiff in your courtroom is going to give you a report sheet. It's going to have the address of the probation office on it. That address is 908 North Jefferson Street, Building F, Jacksonville, Florida, 32209. I'm instructing you now, when you leave that courtroom, you need to report immediately to the probation office. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Thank you, sir. You're all set. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chapman. Anything else from anybody? No, Your Honor. All right. Uh, Mr. Smith, treat your probation seriously, and that will conclude the hearing in this case. Thank you. Courts in recess.